Right, so we can hopefully finish with this grade book shortly. So you see now the end results is that we weighted them evenly. We made sure the, that zero grades counted in the aggregate. And that is, notice it's aggregating this the uh, subcategories. So we'll go back to that. And so that setting was applying to the exam category where nobody had any scores. So it simply wasn't counting that. So nothing changed when we went to 33, 33, 33 from 50, 50, uh, because there were no grades in there. So let's do one more thing. Um, let's just say you had something here like reflect on elections and you want to make that extra credit. All you do is check that, check that column and you see up here it says extra credit and that would apply it. Now they don't have any grades for that so that doesn't help a whole lot but let's take something that I know somebody did. I believe that the um, I know somebody was commenting on the weather. So let's see, course setting, social forum, general class discussion. I know that was extra credit. So let's, uh, that means basically somebody who, who has done something there will have maxed it out, right? So we save changes. And I think we had all Fs before. We go back to the view. And I still have F, so what I'm going to do is actually go to the assignment itself and give somebody a high grade, and we should see their, their grade come up. And you can actually go to individual assignments through the category view. Um, what I will do is take something here that I know I can grade, like the general class discussions. Hold control to open it in a new window. Go into Melissa. And give her 100 points. And close that window. So she should have full score on that. Not only that, it's extra credit. So she basically would have 100 points out of a possible 120. Actually, not even a possible 120 total, but it's only 10 that you'd need to have full score in that category. So that would definitely give her full score on 33% of the class. And remember the name Melissa. Don't mean to pick on you, Melissa, if you're out there and she may not be on this page. And sure enough, there she is with a B because she pretty much maxed out that category. So that demonstrates also that the extra credit is working um, because before that, and just to show because we weren't looking at her grade before, we'll go back and uh, We can take off that extra credit. She has 84% of B right now. And I'll go take that off. And if it's not obvious, I was burned by the grade book in the past. And uh, so therefore, I'm a little bit, um, shall we say, conservative and double checking that this stuff does what I really expect it to be. Uh, checking with simple numbers and known quantities and things like that. Um, but the most common co common format that I imagine teachers will use, certainly that I use, is a couple of categories with some extra credit. And the categories themselves may be weighted and the assignments may be weighted. Now if the assignments are weighted and you don't reflect that weighting in the points, then that's where you use the weighted mean instead. So here, she's still got 100. And it's because the other thing is extra credit. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this works, but um, always check your numbers and uh, do